In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix Logitech G435 no sound. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. If your Logitech G435 has no sound for whatever reason, follow the instructions that I'm going to give you here and you will be able to troubleshoot the issue. First of all, I recommend doing a power cycle. This is simple yet effective. So all that you have to do is press and hold the power button for a few seconds until it powers itself off and then you power it back on again. I recommend waiting up to a minute with the headset off in order to clear out any temporary glitches or connectivity issues. After this is done, see if it works. If it still does not work, then check to see if the headset is being properly detected. Now, there are two ways to do this. You can either reset the connectivity type or method that you are using or checking in Windows. I'm going to showcase this connectivity swap method first. So, the two main ways to use it are going to be through the USB receiver or Bluetooth. If you swap the modes, then it could give you connectivity problems and the audio simply will not be output on the headset. In order to check this, just press and hold the power button and the mute button for a few seconds together. Up to three should be enough, or you can keep holding until you hear an audio change, or you see this LED above the power button swap colors. So it is going to swap from cyan to maybe a light blue. So swap the modes and see if this works. There are two modes, like I said, Bluetooth and the wireless receiver, where it connects automatically. And if you are on the wrong mode, then it simply refuses to work. If you want to use Bluetooth, you have to go into the Bluetooth settings of your specific device and find the G435 from the list of available nearby devices. Now, to check if it is properly connected to your PC, go into the control panel. And if you see it in categories like this, switch to large icons, go to sound, and the headset should appear under the list of playback devices. Now, sadly, I don't have one to record this video with, but it is going to appear right here. And if you see it, it's important that you first enable the headset and you set as the default device. It will have this green check mark indicating that it is now properly connected and in use on your PC. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix Logitech G435 no sound. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.